Tehran slash Jerusalem slash Brussels. Amid a diplomatic flurry aiming to calm a region already on the edge, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Wednesday his country would decide how to respond to Iran, Tehran, however, said its military and air force were ready to confront any Israeli attack, Israel faces pressure from its allies to refrain from striking back at Iran. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron and his German counterpart Annalena Baerbock were the first Western envoys to visit Israel and urge calm, but Netanyahu told the visiting ministers that Israel will reserve the right to protect itself, his office said, the German FM called for prudent restraint, saying the region must not slide into a situation whose outcome is completely unpredictable, meanwhile, Mr Cameron said that, we're very anxious to avoid escalation and to say to our friends in Israel, it's a time to think with head as well as heart. The US has already made clear it won't join any attack on Iran and has called for de-escalation, as have a host of other Western and Arab leaders. Israel's military chief Herzi Halavai has already vowed response to Iran's first-ever direct attack, while military spokesman Daniel Hagari stressed that Tehran would not get off scot-free but it remains unclear how and when Israel might strike and whether it would target Iran directly or attack its interests or allies abroad in places such as Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Yemen. A direct attack on Revolutionary Guards bases or nuclear research facilities within Iran is among the options Israel has to strike back, Iran holds military parade meanwhile, Iran celebrated the success of its drone and missile strike during its annual military parade on Wednesday, as Hamas termed Tehran's actions a legitimate and deserved. Response to a strike on the Islamic Republic's consulate in Syria. In its first reaction, Hamas said, the response from the Islamic Republic of Iran confirms that the time when the Zionist entity could act as it wanted without accountability or punishment has ended. The operation dubbed Honest Promise brought down the glory of the Zionist regime, Israel, President Ibrahim Raisi said at a military base on the outskirts of Tehran, this operation showed that our armed forces are ready, he said in a speech addressed to the regular army and Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps.